Hello, hello. I have arrived. Hello, Alt. Anyway, so. Where was I? Okay, hold on. <laughs> right, intro. So. Artist, archivist, VTuber, future man. <laughs> you can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Yeah, a little bit out of a little bit out of sorts today. Been a little bit since we streamed. Been a little bit since I streamed on my own. But yes, tonight, Arc Nights. I think I have that all set up. It should be. So yes. So not a whole lot to say before we get started. There is there are things to be said, and I have taken the liberty of writing them down so that I can be a little bit more organized. Leading into my next point. Uh, I've been thinking about doing, I don't know if I'd call them clips or like highlight videos or something like that, but essentially just taking VODs and making them a little bit more concise in general, shortening them a little bit to make them easier to watch. Yeah, so that is something I'm considering doing. I don't know if I would do that on my VOD channel or if I would make another channel specifically for that. Um, but yeah, still a lot to consider at this point. Right now, I'm mostly just e experimenting with learning how to use the uh, video editing software that I've been using. So yeah, so if anyone has any any ideas, anything that they would like to suggest about what sort of things they would like to see, I would be glad to hear that. Yeah, I started with the first Arc Knights VOD, editing that down. And in listening back over my own commentary a lot more, I've learned that I tend to talk in circles a lot. I am not very concise at all, but oh well. So yes, so that is that. Um, mm -hmm. Oh yes, so as for other stream business, uh, next week I'm going to try a... Well, for one thing, I'm going to try to have a schedule, but... <laughs> To be more specific, I'm going to try to have a uh, a slightly more slightly more packed schedule, I suppose you could call it. I'm going to be streaming, hopefully, if I can make it all work, which I should be able to. But it'll come down to, in large part, if I uh, remember. But yeah, on Monday I'll be streaming, on Wednesday I'll be streaming, and on Saturday I'll be streaming three whole streams in one week if you can imagine it. But yes. So, the Wednesday stream will, uh, assuming, you know, you know, assuming all goes as uh, usual, should be another collab stream with Sheppy Sheps. You know, things happen. People get busy sometimes. So, if that doesn't happen, then I will, or if uh, Sheps isn't available for whatever reason, I will attempt to do a uh, Arc Knight stream instead. And as for the other days, Monday and Saturday, those will each be Arc Night streams. Yeah, the Monday stream will be at 12.30. The Wednesday stream, I'm going to try to push that a little bit earlier than it has been. Historically, it has been at 8.30. I'm going to try to push it back to 7.30 if I can. Because I've been having an internet issue, very consistent internet issue, <laughs> whereby at approximately 9 30 p.m every single night this has happened for i think a little over a little over a week roughly a week and a half at this point uh every single night at 9 30 my internet will cut out for roughly 30 minutes and i don't know why but it's happening with such regularity that i assume that it must be it can't just be random I would think there must be some issue or perhaps there's some maintenance going on or something that I'm not aware of so it used to happen at 12 30 or around 12 30 each day 12 30 p.m and then it switched to 9 30 p.m for reasons again that I cannot fathom so that is that and that will be that and that is why I want to ideally do the Wednesday stream a little bit earlier so that we have a chance to get the stream done before that happens, rather than having to take sort of a impromptu, a known but not necessarily planned break due to circumstances not entirely within my control. 
and then the Saturday stream will be roughly 2.30. Now is also a acceptable time to be streaming, as you can guess from the fact that I'm streaming. But ideally I would like to do it a little bit earlier, because I like to have some, uh, I already have, I have other plans that I prefer to pursue on Saturday uh, Saturday evenings. I have a Pathfinder group, uh, and I had to, uh, had to cancel on that so that I could get caught up on streaming a little bit. So yes, with that said, this is looking to be a fairly short stream, probably an hour, probably not more than that. And let's see, what else is there to say? Yeah, also, ba ba, dynamic lighting again. I feel like I reinvent this every few months, but that's because the plugins that I use for it change every few months. Uh, so yes, I have it again now. It's a thing that I can do again now. I could do it before, but I can do it better now. And I don't know if I'll use it, but you know, I guess, you know, I have it, so I might as well. But yes, so yeah, we talked about the schedule. We talked about the VODs. We talked about the dynamic lighting. I suppose that's everything that's relevant to the, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Relevant to the, the stream, all of the stream business. So, in order to make the most use out of that one hour that I have apportioned myself, let's get right on into the video game. Oh, oh also, another thing that I've, that I've remembered. Uh, I've also got uh, my alerts. Now, I was going to say I've, I have them fixed. Uh, not so much. I have them switched over to a different uh, system. I'm now using uh, Mix It Up for my alerts. So yeah, I can do things like this. I also made a, a composed a little jingle for each uh, each alert that I currently have. They're a little bit loud on my end. I might need to adjust them a little bit. I've already turned the sound down slightly on Discord, or not Discord, on, uh, hmm, actually, hold on, Did that play audio? It didn't, no. It played it for me, but it did not play it for the stream. Hmm, well, I don't know, I think I will just leave it for now, because again, I don't want to spend too much time on it, because we only have a fairly limited time to be here. So, Arknights, video games. Alright. <clears throat> Tutorial 15. Sip. Strategic redeployment. Looks like we have many people today, huh? Oh, Amia, you're here too. Yeah, Instructor Doberman asked me to take part in this training, too. I heard that today's session would be the last training. Correct. Doctor has pretty much reviewed all basic combat strategies in previous trainings. Next, I prepared a final challenge for the Doctor. Defend against a wave of enemy elites. Doctor, get ready. Your deployment points will be very limited in this operation. You must use your discretion to withdraw temporarily unnecessary operatives for more deployment points. Remember, half of the deployment point costs will be refunded when withdrawing ordinary operators. For some uh, Vanguard operators, like Plume, all DP will be refunded. This is going to be a very tough fight, and without a doubt, a great challenge for you. Good luck, Doctor. And you too, Jessica. I will do my best. I think I'm very familiar with everything already. Doctor, rest assured that we are ready for your orders. Dr. Tiber, time to show me what you are capable of. For the sake of all our futures. I'll definitely prove myself this time. Alright. So, Ready redeployment. For never never was the sort of person that liked to redeploy my units very much. It can be a good strategy, there's nothing inherently wrong with it. But I'm definitely more so a set it up once and just kind of hope that it works, sort of person. And uh, I don't think this is going to work. On standby. I 
think I might have uh, made a tactical blunder here. This is the place. So, now we don't have anyone to block the lower area, and then we're going to lose. Okay, so. Unfortunate. I'm fine. Get it together, everyone. Like I said, I usually don't like to move my units around, so I'm not really thinking about how to do that effectively. Ah. Hello there. All right. This stage. Yeah. Incoming. Get ready, everyone. Yeah, just had a taste of uh, some trouble here. In position. Hmm. I wonder if it'd be. I feel like I'll get more deployment points out of Bang. So I can't be super confident of that. Target location reached. You definitely want to have. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. I think what would be ideal. How do we want to do this? Ready for Overwatch. Because we need a Everyone, medic in order me. to be able to heal. Ah, oh, there we are. We need a medic in order to be able to heal Beagle. Hmm. On standby. Okay, okay. Unfortunate. No. All right, let's try that again. Fortunately, this one doesn't cost anything to play, so... All right. Skip again. And let's take some time to think. So, you can only get one deployment point per enemy you defeat with a uh, plume. But plume can be retreated for to get her full cost back. I think... I think it would be best to deploy Beagle at the front again, or at the, at the, on the top again, because I'm pretty sure she's more or less necessary to deal with the junk man. On the bottom side, I'll probably want to deploy Bloom, along with some, maybe, maybe Amia to deal with the shielded enemies, because they're going to have higher defense. And possibly... I don't know. I think Jessica might be better off on top because the junk man would have a uh, pretty low defense with high HP. Understood. So yeah. So basically, my thought is Bloom. Then I don't know if I'll need Beagle right away on the bottom. Hmm. All right. This might have been a blunder as well, to be honest. Pay for that. So yeah, we're not going to get... Junkman is still going to be within range. Oh, and I can... Right, right, right. <laughs> this this training's all about redeploying, so why not redeploy, huh? This is the place. I'll show them what I can do. Alright, there we go. Alright, I was, in fact, overthinking this. So, we've got three enemies on the bottom portion. It's safe here! Now we've got four. Okay, so we're definitely not going to need anyone Is up top turn? anymore. So we can redeploy Roger, and then deploy Amia. Of course, that was a little bit too late. Hmm. I'm fine. Get it together, everyone. So yeah, I think if I had just been a little bit quicker on the draw there, that would have been ideal. All right. So, we'll skip that again. Keep your guard up. And now we understand what we're doing here. Understood. So, yeah, so right away, I think. Yeah, I think I'll deploy Jessica All first right. again. Where she was was fine. She did perfectly okay. Freeze. Probably be ideal if we can make sure that. Uh, well, I guess there's nothing we can really do about it, but. In addition, some characters block more than uh, more enemies than others. Yes, I am. I am fairly familiar with this game. I have been uh, playing it for a while, but uh, I just haven't. Oh dear. Hmm. This is the place. 
But yes, I have been playing it for a while. I just hadn't been playing through the story mode because I wanted to uh, I wanted to save my first time going through the story mode for when I was playing it on stream, basically. Yeah, not to uh, Everyone, follow me. sort of undercut you there. I appreciate the advice. But, uh, but yeah. Like I said, the main thing here is just that I usually don't like to redeploy my units, so I'm not, I don't really think of how to do that, uh, strategically. So yeah, the strategy did fall apart there a little bit, but we were able to salvage it, and that's what matters. A win's a win. Looking after so. everyone's health is my greatest motivation. Alright, so, let us continue. Man, it's been a while since we played the game. I kind of forgot where I was in the story, to be honest. Yes. So we're currently looking for Misha. Currently looking for Misha. Um, we're on the outs or outskirts or on like a different section of uh, Lungmen. Yeah. More or less, that's what's what's up. Yeah, these specifics elude me, but it, it is what it is. <laughs> Yes. Oops. Yeah, the the third squad is the one we're using. Right, right, right. So yes. Maybe could have checked the map, but I guess we're gonna see the map now, so. Yeah, this probably isn't a map where Shaw is going to be tremendously useful. But it is a map nonetheless. Leave it to us. I don't know what I meant by that, but Oh well. So yes. I won't on the job. So yeah, so we're going to have more stealth enemies. They're going to be a little bit of a hassle. There you are. Thrust. Ah yes, and casters. I, mean, I saw that the description mentioned them and I didn't really uh, acknowledge it or think about it. There you are. So yes. So yeah, I take it you're fairly familiar with Arc Knight yourself there, Abby? Abby, Kill perhaps? Dummy. Hmm. Yeah, not a whole lot we can do about any of these, so we're just going to have to deploy... Do I, I just realize I don't have a guard. Dummy. I don't have a defender, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it's survivable. Hey. Fine. Um... What's Aren't less fine, talking? though, is uh, the rate at which our if units are taking street, damage. I don't like that very much. Owed largely to Quartz's uh, lacking defense. Started playing five months ago, not that experience though. Gotcha. Yeah, as for myself, uh, like I said, I have a fair amount of experience with the game. I've actually been playing it since roughly launch. If you can believe it. But yes, like I said, I didn't uh, do much of the story. And I, uh, yeah didn't do much of the story because I, I realized very early on that, okay, this is a game that I want to stream and I don't, don't want to be killed, spoiled dummy. or anything. Hmm. I don't like this. Um. I've arrived. Gonna take some heat off Cruise here. Come on, of course, you can also together. get some healing with the uh, Hmm. I wonder how Midnight's gonna bear. There He's probably are. not gonna last for too long, but... He might. He might stick around for a while. He, eh, he looks like he's gonna pull through. Yeah, small account. Um, but yeah, so I've been playing the game. I don't, know, I don't know exactly what you mean by small account, but like when I say, yeah, this is like my main account. This isn't a side account or anything. Yeah, I only have the one account. But uh, but yeah, I've got a. I've been playing the game like. Pretty regularly, like I've been doing sort of resource grinding and all that. And I've done a little bit of a few events. I actually did all of the Monster Hunter event on stream, since that was a uh, limited event. So yes. So I've done a fair amount of the... I played the game a fair amount, but I haven't gotten very deep into it, for the most part. Sit. Oh, I see that there's a uh, a branch here. I didn't notice that. Was that? 
surely that was there before and I just didn't see it, but oh well. So yeah, so I think, uh, I don't know why I don't have any defenders on this team. I guess I was really specialized for something last time around, but, uh, but yeah. Let's switch around to get some more defenders on the team also. Look. Yeah, this is a little thing. The movie here. Oh, the movie. I can't believe I forgot about the movie. There we go. The movie is our constant companion. But yeah, anyway. So, like I said, uh, I've tried to avoid spoilers myself. And I also try to avoid spoilers for the stream. And I've got some operators that are... Uh, mild to mild to severe spoilers for uh, various plot uh, points and some characters that since I haven't seen the events that they're from I don't know whether or not they are spoilers so I try to be a little bit cautious with that so yeah so let's get a defender back on our team I don't really have anyone specific in mind but let's go with Ready to deploy. I like Where am I needed? and as for our guard situation we're doing pretty okay um, Silverman's fine. She's going to give a boost to quite a few of our units, actually. Um, I kind of want to keep ports around because I like ports too. All right. Oop. There we go. Show me your spirit, everyone. In so, yeah, pretty straightforward that one was. Just needed to be. I mean, really, you know, we got it in one, basically, so. Not a whole lot that needs to be improved upon, necessarily. I just need to be a little bit more... Who needs healing? Come over! I just need to not uh, mess up, basically. Thrust. Yeah, let's see. What is the Where range on Gabby? Oh, there she is. I Maybe should have started with Cruz again, but I'm not too worried. We'll deploy the Noah just have a little bit, uh, take a little bit of heat off of uh, Cruz a little bit earlier. I think I will, since I've been wanting to use Dilvin's talent, I've been making a uh, an effort for that. I think we'll deploy her as well. Probably not going to get a whole lot of additional use out of Fang at this point, but she's fine. Um, might want a little bit more range damage. Got it. Don't get yourself killed, and then we'll Johnny. deploy Talopsis again, marked. as before. Here I am. Come on, yeah. get it and together. Talopsis, yeah, Talopsis is covering everyone. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we should be good. And then we can deploy Durnar if ever we need anything uh, additional. Don't get yourself killed, dummy. Which Your orders. The, which of the bonuses, the talent? Eh, I guess it's not that huge. So maybe I don't need to worry about it too much. Yeah, part of me Hang wants to there, deploy Orchid, but I realized that if I did I'm that, she would probably crazy. take a lot of damage and not be able to recover it. Maybe once some of the crossbowmen are gone, but that probably won't be for a little while. Crossbow needs to use her skills so that our units don't die horribly. Ideally, I'd prefer it if that didn't happen. Yeah, we're probably not going to run out of crossbowmen. At the very least, there's, yeah, there's not a whole lot of units that uh, Orchid could help against at this point. Yeah, Doberman is doing fine. Vanilla is doing fine. Everyone's doing fine. It might, eh, it might be good Your to switch to port. Mm, okay, no, we're fine. We can handle this, I think. Ooh, okay, maybe not. Mm, I don't know. I don't like. Oh, <laughs> I didn't notice that his health was so low. Your logical deduction was absolutely All right, there we go. correct. What a perfect calculation. Very nice. But yes. So, it looks like this is just sort of a 
I guess just sort of a source of additional uh, originium if you feel so inclined. And this would be the actual... Oh, and this is... Let's see, that is... Yeah, okay, so this is one of the materials that you use to improve your base. Yeah, I have improved my base a little bit from some previous missions. That's it. Yeah, I was definitely looking forward to getting my next keel. So, as much as I am a person who likes to do <laughs> likes to do all of the side content before going on to the main content. Well, I don't know. I don't know how many of these like side missions there are. If there's just like one more this one, or if there's going to be more after that. I suppose I don't need to be too, too precious with my time. We still have a fair amount more. Yes, this one's going to be split. There's going to be drones, so we're probably going to want to use more snipers. Hmm. It says enemy only focus their, focuses their attack on one spot. Which would imply to me, or at least it, what it, what that sounds like intuitively to me is that they're only going to focus on one, uh, one like blue zone. It might be that the other one is the one that gets attacked by the drones. But yeah, I feel like if in the, a situation like this, we're probably going to want another sniper. And for that, I think we're going to say goodbye to midnight for the time being. What else do we want? Yeah, I guess we're at a point now where using other elite uh, operators isn't isn't out of uh, out of the question. Leave the long yeah. distance support to me. I don't know if I've I don't know if I've used Meteor before. I don't remember if I have. But uh, but yeah, she's a sniper who can uh, reduce enemy defense, which is pretty nice. Sit. Everyone, prepare for battle. All right. Incoming. Get ready, everyone. So they're definitely going to Leave attack to the top. It remains to be seen whether they will also attack the bottom, but. Just as planned. Guess it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, I did not use a practice. Um, is there a word for them? I don't know. I didn't use one of the practices Everyone, on this. Okay, no, they are going to attack both sides. Understood. So. The top side seems to be getting a lot of slugs. And slugs are don't late, do a lot of damage and are pretty weak. So. I feel pretty okay with uh, the point mm -hmm. ports there. I'm listening. Here I am. Probably on the bottom we're going to want a defender, I think. Your words are my key. Our one defender that we have. Whoops, that's not a defender. Cover me. Yeah, especially Durnar, because she can actually hit more than one Here target I once am. her skill is active. Hmm, okay, so... This might be a situation where we're prioritized Philopsis. Because yeah, she would be the only one who could heal both sides. Go ahead. Stop them now. Probably making Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ready to heal. That drone is dealing damage and we don't want our snipers to go down. No no no. Those aren't always won by the most experienced. There you are. So yeah, we're going Don't to have a little bit killed, more mommy. damage coming our way up top. Yeah, given how we've deployed uh, crews, it might have been prudent to... There you are. Yeah, it might have been prudent to place... Don't get yourself ooh, killed, dummy. Yeah, place Orchid a little bit closer. That way she could have also been healed by uh, Gaviel. But we'll just uh, undeploy her, I think. And, Hang in there, I'm coming! Hold the line! Hmm? This halberd is not being quite as effective as I maybe could Doctor, be. Doctor, I'm in position. Keep your distance. 
I only want initiating all right, healing all right. process. Moving out. You should be able to manage the rest of this pretty well, Don't I think. Killed, dummy. Placing Chen there right after getting the extra damage on Forge might not have been the best, but it's fine, I suppose. Um, it might be prudent to switch out Vanilla for Doberman. Doberman hmm. is going to get targeted by the Caster, but I guess the Caster would fit both of them regardless. Yeah, the main reason I wanted to deploy Chen was because of this fellow with the big axe, because I wanted to slow down his attack if at all possible. With uh, a very reliable stun. Alright. Pretty good. Pretty smooth. Mission accomplished. Come back when you're less mediocre. Yes, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but uh, Quartz also got an English voice since last time we played with her. Alright, and that is the end of the side mission. So, let's see what this is going to look like. We've got a new boss, it seems like. Yes, new boss, lots of areas for enemies to come from. No drones, it looks like. Yes, and previously unknown enemy leader and an elite team are launching a ferocious attack from 6 o'clock. Deploy operators to engage immediately. Yes, yeah, so we've got bushes, so we're probably going to deal with a lot of range damage. Probably going to want to keep uh, our two snipers all ready for that we already have. I think in this case we'll, use, we'll start using practice plans. So again, I'm probably not going to be playing long enough that I would use up my sanity anyway, but... <clears throat> so, what do you think about Penguin Logistics, Amya? We're pretty good, aren't we? Yeah, you're great. Whoa! It feels pretty embarrassing getting complimented by a little girl. Watch your mouth. He's our client. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. It's you who we should be thanking. So, we've met up with Rhodes Island. What's next? I might need the LGD to come to a decision before I give my input. Is that so? I'll ask them to come take a look over here, then. The Serene. Green must have lured us here on purpose. Nothing but sand and rocks in this wasteland. It's got all the markings of one of those movie showdowns. The only thing that's missing is the enemy, huh? Oshiguma, stay here and back up Rhodes Island. Hmm? Very well. I'll take the LGD and change positions. If this stalemate continues, we won't be able to control all Reunion's, Reunion's escape routes. Understood. Yeah, you take care as well. Whoa, that was a really strong wind. Ugh. This ability is getting really poor too. Barely see ahead of me. Don't go any don't go any farther. You might wait for us to fall into their trap before they attack again. We can't let that happen. How about this, Amia? This Karma and I will fight for control over the high ground around here and scout out the enemy. Until we notify you, stay in this position. Just don't rush out to us even if it looks like the fighting is getting intense, Amia. I know. I'll make my own judgment call. Doctor, you keep an eye on her, too. We'll be in touch. The ruins are empty. The high ground is currently undefended. That's curious. Does Reunion not have any commanders? Ranka, is something wrong? Look, this place was supposed to be easy to defend, but hard to attack. There's no way that Reunion hasn't set up an ambush. Die, traitors. All right, looks like they set up an ambush. <laughs> no sense of honor. Franka, behind you! I see reunion forces coming up from the nearby ruins. Couldn't see her sword? How is that possible? <laughs> Did you really think you could ambush us from the air? Don't you think you're underestimating me? Black steel! 
Fall back. Hurry. I really thought there'd be more reunion goons up here. I was even walking on tiptoes. Turns out, just a bunch of cowards. How disappointing. Gonna get disappointed over that? More importantly, we have to go after them. Don't let them get away so easily. Amiya, what do you think? I think it's best not to risk it. Let's let Penguin Logistics stabilize the situation before we decide on the next thing to do. Exusii, can you prioritize securing the high ground? Sure thing. I'm on my way. Good. Continue pressuring the enemy. Don't let Reunion stage a counterattack. <clears throat> Reunion is trying to regroup after retreating a bit. They're bringing something out. Watch out. That thing. It's no ordinary thug. I never expected Reunion to be working with... Could that be... Working with who? You're... you're right. This Reunion soldier does look different. Could it be... Miss Karm, we're currently working with the LGD. It's probably not the best time to be talking about sensitive topics. Ah, understood. I'll tell you my theory next time. <sighs> Everyone, please get ready. This might be a very difficult battle. All right, see how well we manage this. The battle has begun. Be careful, everyone. All right. So. Understood. Now we'll start out with two, two of our, our two vanguards. And we'll see how this treats us. Everyone, follow yeah, me. Yeah, that tile to the left of Fang looks a little bit weird with how the sand is, but I don't think there's anything off about it. I think who? Alright, so. Probably I should have been deploying some damage a little bit sooner. Um I'll stay vigilant. Because yeah, these dual swordsmen are definitely Critical higher hit. damage. Um they're probably Everyone, gonna take out Fang, aren't they? Me. Um Alright. So, um, we're going to have to start this over. So, yes. I'm still not strong enough. Don't worry too much about it. Just practice after all. Um, so, yeah. Maybe deploying both at once wasn't necessarily right, the ladies. best strategy. Let's keep it cool. In position. Maybe I should have deployed on the space that is going to have an enemy first, but oh well. Um, who would we want to deploy other than that? Doberman... Doberman's a little bit Orders. tougher, I think, than our vanguards. Ready for action. Mm. She does more damage. Uh, no, she Orders. does have more defense than... At the very least, more defense than uh, vanilla. Yeah, having another unit there will probably help significantly. Um, I think we'll heal. deploy Gaviel for a little bit more healing per attack. Um, yeah, since these fellows are relatively tough, it might behoove me to deploy Chen a little bit sooner than I might Come otherwise. On, get it together. Moving out. Yeah, we're going to want some more block on the right hand side, so it might. Uh, yeah, I might have wanted to deploy Fang. Just sort of in general, <laughs> but uh, yeah, at least or not Fang Vanilla. There we go. Yeah, we did still let Come an enemy on, pass, it but it's not the worst thing in the world. Ah, we are going to get some drones Stay coming vigilant. in. Gonna get drones from both sides. Sleep on the job. Everyone, follow me. Yes, we've got some cloaked Perfect snipers. Chance. Your words are my pay. Orders. Here right. I am. Not doing too bad other than the one enemy that we let pass. Putting down some snipers earlier might have also been Come good on, for the sheer DPS factor. Yes, 
we're doing pretty okay so far. No particular if you issues. Want treatment, you gotta come closer. Feel the wind. But yes, we might. Ooh, okay, so we've got an enemy coming, a big tough guy coming. Um, Chen, for all of her tremendous virtue, Chen is not that tough. Your words are my are always won by the most experienced. Gaviol will probably eh? maybe not. I was gonna say Gaviol will probably need some assistance, but maybe she can handle it on her own. I'm going to deploy. Uh, if you want treatment, you gotta come closer. Could this also deploy shot. another range unit. I think we'll place Anya here so that she can cover more ground. If you want treatment, you gotta come closer. Orchid, ready to move. Dump. All right. Probably gonna want to switch Fang out at some point, but on the other hand, ooh. Okay, yeah, we are losing health a lot faster than I was uh, planning on. Don't get yourself killed, dummy. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Meteor is probably not the most ideal choice because these uh, loggers uh, don't have a lot of defense on them. I think the... I don't know what they're called, but the ones with the masks probably have a lot more. Yes, we're doing pretty good. Holding pretty well. Chen is, of course, uh, doing very good herself. Come on, get it together! Yeah, one thing I've, I've realized as I've been doing some thinking is I'm probably... I've probably been sleeping on uh, guards a lot. Okay. Extremely dangerous and hard to defeat. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> so uh, I guess we're just going to have to sort of see how this guy don't treats us. Killed, dummy. I can't imagine it will be uh, nicely, but Here. hopefully Stop we should be now. able to deal with everything else hey. fast hey. enough that he's not going to be too much of a problem. Hang in there, I'm coming! Program initiating. Process. Maybe should have waited a little bit on Pelopsis' skill. Alright, I feel like Orchid... Oh, Orchid's doing fine. She's not doing too bad. We don't have a lot of damage on the right side, Absolutely. though. So, let's problem. put Orts down. Orts does have the unfortunate coming. luck of being out... Oh, dear. Okay, so this guy has a ranged attack on him. Interesting. Yeah, Fort is outside of the range of anyone's healing, so that's not great. But Come on, get it together. okay, this guy wasn't too bad. So I made a little bit more of that than maybe I, I needed to. Sip. So yeah, so I think we will beat this mission and then we'll wrap it up for today. Again, a little bit of a short stream, but what can you do, you know? We're off. Remember to stay frosty and keep an eye out. But yeah, like I said, I think that the strategy could have been improved if I deployed In position. to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Vanguards, there we go. Deployed my two vanguards a little bit sooner. I won't sleep on the job. And I think having a little bit more damage will allow us to not deploy medics quite as... Mm, okay, maybe that was a bad idea, actually. Because <laughs> vanilla is not going to survive. Well, I don't know. I don't, I'm not too concerned. But yeah, that was, that was a mistake. That was definitely a mistake. Um, yeah, I should have, I should have deployed Gabiel sooner. Um, so how are we going to salvage if this on the right hand side before things closer. get out of hand? Uh, ah, this is how. So yeah, it might actually have been better. Come on, get it together. I'll stay vigilant. Might have been a little bit better to deploy, um, 
if I had deployed uh there you are. Hang in there, I'm coming. Durnar in front of uh, Doberman. Take him out fast. Because Durnar's not going to have quite as much damage on her. Hmm. And yeah, now that we have Come on, now that we deployed Chen second. Gurnar isn't going to take as much aggro, which is a little bit unfortunate as well. Our charging. Hmm. We can compensate a little killed, bit, I think, dummy. by redeploying uh, vanilla, perhaps. On standby. Alternatively, now that we have a... Uh... Yeah, I didn't really bring it up, but yes, I did put Telopsis there Perfect on purpose, time. because I wanted to, uh, in, in theory, have the range to, uh, heal, say, Quartz or someone of the like. Hmm. Now that I think about it, though, I don't know that Quartz really has the, uh, the staying power for this, to be honest. She's got no, uh, defense is the problem, and these fellas have a lot of attack on them. So this was maybe not the best choice. I kind of wanted Quartz there to be able to deal with like the slugs and whatnot. Then my sword. She's holding her own, but I don't know how long she will. Yeah, I guess the guy is going down. All right, fair enough. Critical hit. Yeah, I don't know if uh, Quartz will hold next time necessarily, but uh, she held this time. So, how else can we improve this? Would deploying Orchid facing the other way be a significant improvement? This I don't feel like it would be, to be honest. I feel like we're right. better served with Amia don't in general. Killed, but now that I say that, I don't... Well, no, they're fine, they're fine. Because, yes, Durnar is more than capable of standing Critical up to these hit. loggers. Yeah, no trouble there. If you want treatment, you gotta come closer. Yeah, Quartz is doing doing good. Critical standing hit. up to uh, enemy attacks. Don't get yourself killed, dummy. But yeah, so I definitely should have deployed a medic first, but I'm not really too bothered, to be honest. I'm right here, Doctor. I know what you're thinking. But yeah, I don't feel on, compelled to try to get a three star on every operation on screen necessarily. That's something I wouldn't mind doing off screen. And so yeah, we were we were in basically this exact same uh, position last closer. time around, and it went fine. In fact, we were in a slightly worse position because uh, Quartz didn't have any healing she last time, but now she does. One way or the other, we should Don't be able to handle this, hand. I think. Your orders? I don't want to use Doberman's talent. So I think... Oh no, Quartz has just gone down. Um, Hang in there, I'm coming. I guess, yeah, Appreciate we deployed Quartz it. later, I think, last time. It's part of it. Yeah. Your words are I my deployed command. Vanilla there basically just to absorb aggro, so I don't mind redeploying her. And yeah, this should be fine. I've been waiting for a while. Again, we were in basically this exact same situation last time, and we yeah, held just yeah. fine, so I'm confident we can do it again. I'm right here, Doctor. Are you afraid of me? Alright, easy peasy. Not quite perfect, but it is what it is. <clears throat> what the? All that? For only a single reunion squad? And a really big guy. Now that was the highlight. I'm totally exhausted just from dealing with him. Impossible. How could so many infected vanish so quickly? Was that giant guy just a diversion? Did Union manage to completely evacuate this area in such a short period of time? No, Madam Chen should have blocked off their escape route. I'm not seeing the designated waypoint. Something isn't right about this. Weeds, ruins, sand dunes, all of which are potential spots for an ambush. But I'm not seeing anything. No footsteps, no sounds of clothing, brushing against plants, no smell of explosives. Can't tell what's going on. 
Penguin Logistics, wake up and do your job. This isn't right at all. Hush. What's that sound? Huh? It's from underground? Anya, the noise is coming from underground. <gasps> Doctor, get down now. These guys will really stop at nothing. Hmm? How did you block that? My Hanya is not something you can penetrate. We'll see about that. <laughs> Temperature is rising sharply. You're trying to detonate a staff? Doctor, run away. That is, at that distance, you'll... You'll... Oh, dear. It's over. No. No! You can't! I won't let you hurt Doctor. That was quite something. You are powerful, but look at you. You're so strong. It hurts. Even though you have this kind of power, you still, in cold blood, watch your fellow infected. I can't forgive. I can't forgive those like you. <laughs> That was quite something, wasn't it? Well, yes. With that, the uh, planned upon time has come to an end. So, let us return. And I think we'll turn off the dynamic lighting for now. It looks a little bit weird in this room anyway. Well, yes. So, Dark Knights has been fun being back. Yeah, it's been, been a little bit of a struggle making time for it, but I think I should be able to do that a little bit more consistently going forward. Like I said, I'm going to be trying to do so uh, a little bit more for this next upcoming week. Try to get back to a little bit of more of a regular schedule. And so, oh, right, right, right. Of course, before we do anything else, I would like to open the floor to you all. If anyone has any raid suggestions, I would always, always, always like to hear those. If not, I can find one myself, of course. But yes, so as I was saying, so trying to aim for a bit more of a consistent schedule going forward, uh, starting next week. Yeah, so on Monday, we should be should be seeing another Arknight stream at around 12.30 p.m. Uh, Wednesdays, yeah, I should mention that this is for every week going forward, ideally, assuming nothing comes up. But yes, so Wednesdays will be uh, some more coffee talk with Sheppy Sheps, uh, assuming that she is available. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to see if we can get those a little bit earlier at 7.30 p.m. If not, those will be at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. I think I forgot to mention that it's Central Time, but you know, it is what it is. And then... Um, what else? What else? Oh, right. Saturday. <laughs> you know, the day that it is. Um, but yes. So on Saturdays, we should be looking at streams at around 2.30 p.m. Central Time. Um, and yeah, I'm going to try to make each stream at least an hour. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Ideally more. <laughs> Two is sort of like the number that I like to shoot for, but... You know, one hour is easier to plan around, to schedule around. Again, I will make as much time for this as I can, but, you know, I am only capable of so much. But yes. So, 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 so. Not seeing any raid suggestions. 
So I think tonight we will go and visit Judokami. Yes, a good long time friend of the stream. Raid Judo underscore Kami. There we go. Oops. There we go. So yes. So talked about the schedule. Um yeah, that should be basically everything that we really need to go over. Yeah, once again, yeah, I'm planning on releasing some more condensed versions of some of my VODs going forward. Yeah, starting with uh, some of the, the Ark Knight series. If anyone has any suggestions on how they would like that that format, what they might like from that format, you know, feel free to let me know. I'll probably just, you know, start releasing them and sort of tweak them as we go. Yeah. I do, you know, want some feedback as much as as much as anyone is willing to give. So that should be everything. Thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. The customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. There we go. Put that in chat. And see us. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway.